what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time, the Target stock listings just won't stop, and I'm not complaining about that. Also, GT Prime 17 on TFW 2005 seemed to have dropped the ball on something that I am super excited about. Anyways, we're going to start off with what we've been talking about for the past week, which is the Target stock listings. Uh, these new figures seem to be deluxe class figures, and we're going to start off with Point Blank, which was an original Target Master figure, which is pretty cool, because so far all we've got is Crosshairs and Spinister from the War for Cybertron line. So hopefully this means that they're going to put a little more focus on the other gang uh, members, because I feel like they were necessary, especially when we had Battle Masters in the line, and barely any of the target master holders so yeah i think point blank would be perfect another figure that would be cool is alita one apparently has also got a name drop uh which is funny because you know we had the war for cybertron alita one i wonder if they're gonna reshape or remold that into a newer figure i guess we'll just have to wait and see but that's also good because i heard the alita one was pretty hard to get i never got it myself i never even found it so maybe this is another opportunity to get a Generations Deluxe Alita 1 that isn't that uh, Power of the Primes toy, because, ugh, that one's, eh. Anyways, moving on, we also have Deluxe Class Crankcase. Now, this is something that I was really hoping for. It's one of those, I think they're called Trigger Cons, where you push a button or you do something, and the weapons will flip around in alt mode or robot mode. It's a pretty cool gimmick. I would like to see that return. I know some people don't like gimmicks in their Generations toys like that, where they have spring-loaded missiles and stuff like that, but I think it would be pretty fun to see that uh, return for this figure, but, you know, we, we've got the Top Spin and Twin Twist that don't have the Jump Starter gimmick, and people are totally fine with that, so I don't expect it. I'm just saying it would be nice. And uh, I want to see a Crankcase figure. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the closest thing we have to a Generations Crankcase is a Red Alert repaint, so I'm totally fine with this. And last but not least, from JT Prime 17, who has told us about so many figures. In fact, the previous legacy listings that we've been talking about with RC and Tarantulas, he was the one that mentioned them. And he dropped the ball that the next Titan class figure, Cybertron Metroplex. Yes! I'm so happy about that. So. It seems Unicorn Trilogy is going to be a big thing for the next couple of lines, and I am perfectly fine with that because I started with Transformers with Cybertron. I actually knew a kid who had the Cybertron Metroplex, and I was so jealous of that. He has this giant, like, spinning axe weapon thing from this little digger thing. His alt mode is just this crazy wild design. I'm hoping that his weapon will be able to attach to the War for Cybertron Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime because that was one of the things from the original cartoon. But either way, I am so on board with a Titan class Cybertron version Metroplex, and they specifically said Cybertron Metroplex. Although I think it would be cool if there was a more uh, G1 stylized Metroplex. I know we do have a Metroplex that is, you know, closer to the G1 design, but it's also kind of infused with the, um, what is it, the Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron game design. Uh, I would like to see a more traditional Metroplex, but I am not going to argue with the Cybertron Metroplex at any point in time. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudads. And I will see you guys next time.